Hello all, I am Sarah and Shoji, a class 11 student of Chrysler Mahalalem Public School. Chemistry is a science that deals with the composition, structure and properties of substances and with the changes that they undergo. Chemistry is a part of our everyday life. There are chemical reactions taking place in almost everything that we do and in our world. Today, I am going to talk about chemistry in the kitchen. There are numerous chemical reactions that take place in our kitchen while preparing for food, cooking and even while washing. The most commonly used chemical in our kitchen is sodium chloride, also known as table salt. It is an ionic compound with the chemical formula NaCl. It is commonly used as a condiment and food preservative. Have you ever wondered why we cry while cutting onions? Yes friends, there is chemistry behind it. Onions contain amino acids called sulfoxides. When they are cut into, their walls get damaged, causing the sulfoxides to convert into a gas. This gas when it comes into contact with your eyes, causes a burning sensation. Our tear duct reacts by producing tears as a defense mechanism to get rid of the gas from the eyes and hence the crying. My mother had cut apples earlier and look at it now, they are turned brown. The reason is oxidation. It happens when an atom or compound loses one or more electrons. When the soft insides of foods are exposed to oxygen in the air, they become oxidized, causing them to break down and turn brown. Do you like pickles? I love all kinds of pickles. Pickling is the process of preserving edible products in acid solution, usually vinegar or in salt solution. In chemical pickling, the food is placed in an edible liquid and that, that inhibits or kills bacteria and other microorganisms. In fermentation pickling, the food itself produces the preservation agent, typically by a process that produces lactic acid. The health benefits of consumption of curd are many. We all know that curd is made from milk. The conversion of milk to curd is by the process of fermentation. Milk contains globular proteins called casein. The lactose in milk turns into lactic acid. The curd is formed because of the chemical reaction between the lactic acid bacteria and casein. There is chemistry behind washing vessels too. The surfactants are made of molecules which have a hydrophilic head, meaning it is attracted to water, and lipophilic tape, meaning it is attracted to grease and oil. These molecules form into tiny balls known as missiles. As the missiles form, come up, cut and then reform, the lipophilic tails grab onto the grease and separate it from the surface of the item being washed. We have seen that everything we do in the kitchen involves chemistry. Thank you for watching.